Hey everyone, this is Vicky Mess Vicky with Messy Table Studio. Vicky Messy. Yeah, I am. I have been working on a project for the last couple days and I didn't really want to tip my hand to what I've been up to. And I'm probably not going to tell you the whole story here, but I have been working on carving and doing some stamps out of some of my doodles that I have been working on. Someone said, why didn't you record it? I'm like, I don't know. I didn't think about it. Didn't really think it was that significant, but I was told that I should be recording, so here I is. So let's see, what have I got here? Y'all know I like to doodle, and I, I've been kind of out of sorts the last couple months, and then I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, one day I went, I've got to do something. So I've been doing it. So I have been sketching in, where is it, my sketchbook that I do my ideas, to, you know, painting and, and doodling some stuff in here. And I got an idea and tested it. Then I put it on tracing paper. Oh, sorry. Sorry about the dog. Right, so I've been doing some sketching and some carving. And then once I finished the carving, I got out the jelly plate and I printed my carving onto the jelly plate and then cut out these kinds of things to use as embellishments for journals or whatever. So I think what I'm going to do in this video is another one of the carvings and let you see the process I've been going through from beginning to end. Okay, so these are some of my doodles that I did on tracing paper. And I'm going to cut this one off. Kind of cut around it a little bit. I did, I traced it with a number two pencil so that when I do my carving and I rub it on the rubber, the graphite from the pencil will transfer to the rubber and I don't have to redraw this with anything onto the rubber. I have not decided what parts I want solid and what parts I want open. So I'm going to have to while I'm cutting this out, I'm thinking in my head that I think I need the insides of the leaves to be solid and the uh, leaves themselves to be empty. So now I need to find... Here we go. Um, back last year at Christmas, I received a phenomenal gift from my friend Shelly Lynn at Crafting Mamas. And she sent me a crap ton of carving rubber because she knows I love to do this. So this is rubber for carving rubber from my friend Shelly. And I want to say thank you very much, Shelly. Your gift is now getting used. All right, so I'm going to take this. This is the side where the graphite is. I'm going to take this, and guess what? It's too short. Well, son of a gun. Okay, so, and not wide enough. So let me go get another piece of rubber. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. I love how they put it in the lovely envelope and sealed it shut. I ripped through this like a beast. <laughs> I have no time for that nonsense. All right, so I'm going to take this. Still not long enough. All right, so we're just going to do it diagonal-wise. So this is how I did the last one. This probably is not the way... You should be doing this, but hey, I never do anything anybody tells me or the way they tell me how to do it anyway. So I took the, this is a uh, carving tool from, uh, where's the lid? Here's the lid. Power Grip. Uh, it's a Japanese company, and I've had it a couple years now. And they have different wood-handled carving tools that each has a rubber lid that goes over it, and then it, you know, fits in the form. So I took the bottom of this and I laid that down and then I just kind of went around it and pressed it down onto the 
rubber and let's see so I just rub it on there and make sure the graphite comes in contact with the rubber and then it up. Whoop. There's some places where it's not good enough. So let me go over those places again. Sometimes you have to lift it up and kind of take a quick peek. Uh, a little more there. So while I'm doing it, let me just make sure I do it here again, too. Alrighty, that should get it. Pull this up. Yeah, good enough. So there it is. And now I'm going to carve, but when I'm carving, I'm going to put it on fast forward because it's too hard to carve and talk at the same time. I am not that coordinated. So I'm sitting here thinking about the parts that I want there to be solid. So I'm coloring them in so I don't lose my mind and forget that I want those solid. I want the leaves to be solid. So all I'm gonna do is just take the graphite pencil I used to trace it onto the tracing paper and color those in. And the insides of my flowers, if I can possibly do it, I would like these parts to be solid and then carve out the inside of the flowers. Or not. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't know. You know, in the middle of something, you can always change your mind. But with this, sometimes changing your mind is... Uh, all about timing and how well it's going to turn out that you changed your plans. All right, so so there'll be some colored portions, some open portions. Let's see, color this in. See, this is why you fast forward through this stuff, because it is pretty boring. And I don't know where that was, so I'm just going to draw a line there and pretend that's it, because I cannot tell where it was. All right. Color this in. Doesn't look like much on camera, does it? Here's one I forgot to do. And sometimes you may have to make a decision where the leaf goes compared to where the flower goes. You may not carve it exactly because you don't want these two lines to bump into each other. When I created this doodle, there was never an intent in my mind to create a stamp with it. So I may have to adjust it a little because a stamp is a little bit different than a doodle. When push comes to shove, sometimes the way you do something is a little different than what you thought you would do it. So these guys are going to be solid. And I don't want to ruin all this rubber, so I'm going to take an X-Acto knife, my ruler, and there's a hair on there. Now that's annoying. Go away. Alright, so what I'll do for beginners, beginning now, is I'm going to cut my rubber off. I don't want to waste any of this stuff. There we go. 
even though it's a rather large piece, I still think that I don't want to waste any of this. And I may end up cutting more off later. Maybe I should start with this for now. I don't know. How do I want this to look? I have to think about this a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to cut some of this out now. Because I think later I'm going to wish I had. Or then I could, you know, be mistaken. <laughs> Which is always the case when I do something. <laughs> mm. Let's see, so I do want to cut between these guys. Some people will do the carving first and then cut around it, but I think, whoa, got a little too close to the edge there, so that means that I'm going to have to be very careful right here. See, that's why other people wait till after they're done carving before they cut away some of the bits, the extra parts that they might not need so much. And we're coming around. I love this little X-Acto knife. I've had it a while and it looks kind of crappy, but I do like it. There we go. So, I'm going to start carving.
Okay, I've gotten a lot of carving done. I had to shut the camera off for a little while because if I shine the light like this, where I can see what I'm doing, it causes a glare. But I lift it up, it's dark, and I can't see where I'm carving on here. So I have to turn off, shine the light, carve, then come back. So this is what I've gotten done so far. I still have this section here, this. I need to clean up this part right here. The bottom part, I need to clean these up, but I'm almost finished. So I'm going to turn the camera off and finish so I can see what it is I'm doing, and then I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm finished, and I'm not using the light, so there we go. There's the baby, and let's see. Let me make room here to do a stamp. This is my stamp book that's dedicated to stamps. But evidently, I put the papers together. <laughs> Oops. All right. Right, when I mash it down, I like to get to the outside edges because sometimes when I lift up, I realize I didn't mash down on them to get the tips of the leaves or whatever sharp parts are sticking out. Okay, let's see how I did. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that? Outstanding! Oh, I'm very excited about the way it turned out. I would like to make a couple little adjustments. Like, I'm thinking I'm not so crazy about this, but might be a bit too late. Anyway, so that is what I have been up to for the last week, is coming up with designs, carving, printing. I will be back with another one another time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.